In the universe, there is only one true currency, one resource that governs the growth of everything from the smallest microbe to the largest galactic empire. It is not gold, nor knowledge, nor territory. It is energy. The ability to harness and control power is the ultimate measure of a civilization's reach and resilience. In 1964, Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev recognized this fundamental truth. He proposed that if we ever hope to find and classify life beyond our world, we should measure it by the one thing physics demands of everyone. He created a cosmic yardstick, a hypothetical ranking of civilizations based not on their culture or biology, but on the sheer scale of energy they could command. This is the Kardashev scale. It begins with a type 1 civilization. This is a planetary society, one that has achieved complete mastery over its homeworld. A type 1 civilization can harness the total energy that reaches its planet from its parent star. They can control the weather, prevent earthquakes, and draw power from the planet's core. Their energy grid is global, seamless, and unimaginably powerful. They are, in every sense, the lords of their own world. Then there is Type 2, a stellar civilization. This society has outgrown the needs of its planet and has moved on to harnessing the entire energy output of its home star. The most famous theoretical method for this is the Dyson Sphere, a colossal megastructure built to completely encompass a star, capturing every single watt of its power. A Type 2 civilization would have an energy budget billions of times greater than a Type 1. For them, the fate of their planet is a trivial concern. Their power source is the stellar engine at the heart of their solar system. Finally, Kardashev imagined a Type 3, a galactic civilization. This society is so advanced it commands the energy of its entire home galaxy. They could draw power from billions of stars, from the supermassive black hole at the galactic core, and perhaps even from sources of energy we can't yet comprehend. A Type III civilization would be a truly galactic species, colonizing star systems at will, their presence woven into the very fabric of their corner of the universe. They would be, to us, indistinguishable from gods. So where does humanity fit on this grand cosmic ladder? The answer is humbling. We are not yet a Type I. Scientists like Carl Sagan have estimated that humanity currently sits at around a 0.73 on the scale. We are still a Type Zero civilization. We derive our energy primarily from dead plants, fossil fuels, and have only just begun to harness the planetary forces of wind, solar, and geothermal power. Our journey to becoming a true Type I will require a profound transformation. We would need to build a global energy network, perfect fusion power, create